People are facing arson charges after admitting to setting a playground structure on fire last month. Those two people are eight and nine years of age. But as Anthony Sabella reports, the Jackson County prosecutor is not letting them off easy because they're so young. 26 hours. That's how much time Terry Foster has put into cleaning up Partnership Park after a fire destroyed its main playground back in August. I just want this to get done so it can be back to normal to where kids can come in and play. All that's left of the playground are a few pieces of melted plastic and charred rubber. Nearby trees are still scarred from the flames. Hard to believe it all started with a few kids playing with a lighter. There's a lot of people that come by and are disgusted by the way it was done. That kind of behavior is not acceptable. That's the message Jackson County Prosecuting Attorney Hank Zavislak wants heard after a police investigation determined two boys, ages 8 and 9, were responsible for setting the fire. There was sufficient information to charge those uh, young children with uh, in the juvenile court. And as a result of that, we petitioned both of those children on arson-related charges, uh, which, of course, are very, very serious. Zavislak says the petition will attempt a court order to enroll the boys into a program for kids who intentionally set fires. They will also have to pay back the community surrounding the park so the playground can be rebuilt. If the boys were just a few years older, they could have faced jail time. If these were 14, 15-year-olds, we could petition the court to go into adult court and subject them to the same kind of prison penalties. Foster says he just wants the boys held responsible. If you did it, you need to be punished. In Jackson, Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News. Hearing times for juvenile cases cannot be released to the public, but the prosecutor says the boys should face a judge sometime soon.